Andy, uh, a real battle here this afternoon at Nethermoor Park. What was your assessment on the game? Um, it was a good test for um, It was a really good test against an opposition who will, who will do well in their, at their level. Um, they've caused us um, some new issues that were, were kind of needed to deal with a little bit better. Um, had a very, very tall centre half, first half, who, who caused a little bit of trouble with that direct play. And um, on the whole, I thought we'd, we dealt with it pretty well in the first half. Um, so, yeah, good test for us in pre season, a different one. Certainly different again to Tuesday night when we, when we played more with, but I thought guys who were, were pretty decent today, so it was a, a really good afternoon. Yeah. That's the kind of thing you want, isn't it? You want to be tested in different ways through through this warm-up period. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, we'll always start by looking at ourselves and what, what we can do better, um, which we have to do. Um, there's lots and lots of things in and out of possession this afternoon that, that needs to be tidied up. Um, if you, if you look at the game on the whole, we've, we've, domin we've dominated possession, um, moved through the thirds relatively well, but in the final third didn't really hurt them as much as we should do. To only have three or four shots across 90 minutes is just not us and, 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 and kind of not good enough for us. Um, so we'll, we'll look at it and we'll re reflect on it. And it's just if, if we can be a bit more tidy today. Um, move the ball a little bit quicker in certain moments with detail, then it, it, it would have been a, a slightly different story. Um, so we're a bit frustrated in there, but it's it's another game, another 90 minutes under our belt, and another kind of step closer towards August the 5th, which is obviously what we're building for. That, that, that's exactly what, you know, what my impression was, you know, just that little bit of extra slickness, isn't it, you know, in the in the final third part? Yeah, yeah, and, and look, the lads are still adapting to, to, to the messages we're giving them. Um, their attitudes and, and, and application towards games and, and tactics that we're trying to implement is, is first class to be honest so fair play to them um, like I say there's moments that we need to tidy up which which we will do and we'll do the work to make sure that, that that's put right um, but there's still lots and lots of positive signs we're, we're playing some nice football um, we do move the ball well at times we do look like a threat at times but it just needs to be more it just needs to be more especially when we're getting ready for August the 5th and we have our goals and targets and to achieve them we've got to be bang at it all of the time in and out of possession so look another positive afternoon if, if you look at a lot of ways can it be better absolutely of course it can is it ever perfect no um, but me Chan and Lou will um, will look at it and, and, and work out some things um, that we can work on on the training pitch obviously we've got a couple of couple of more friendlies to get in so we'll get a chance to put that into play um, but we'll just keep working hard and that's all all, all we can do really is, is keep working hard as a group stick together and um, keep giving each other the same messages so it's consistent and I've no doubt in my mind that we'll we'll get to where we need to be a couple of knocks today for for centre-backs as well uh, Ben Pollock forced off early yeah. on and then James Curtis took a re saw kick yeah How are they? yeah it, I mean it's it's a funny one when when we think about kind of how many blood injuries we've had in, in pre-season we seem to be a little bit cursed with that but Ben's obviously took a took a knock to the back of the head so he's, he's had a little bit of glue put in that right. on, in the dugout so it's it's not massively serious he'd be, he'd be fine um, but just with it being pre-season it's not worth slinging him back in there um, and obviously hopefully James he's just kind of jawed his knee ever so slightly um, but we'll all we'll assess him over the next couple of days and see how that settles down so fingers crossed on Jamesy. Um, a couple of weeks to go as you say to the to the big kickoff. a uh, couple of things are you happy with the progress we've made and where we are right now and and secondly how much have you enjoyed it so far at the club? Um, one thing I'll never be is is, is totally happy. Um, <laughs> Fair enough. There's, there's always things that we can be better at and there's frustrations out there but like I said a lot of these messages we're giving the lads on you all right and, and, and we're trying to build a, towards a direction and style we want to play in um, and, and, and look we'll just keep doing that um, we we'll keep plugging away because we believe in it the players believe in it um, and the application towards carrying it out is first class like I said earlier um, so we'll just keep plugging away so the honest answer is I'm a happy not fully and, <laughs> but across the season I, I doubt I'll ever really be fully happy um, but as for me and en enjoying it at the club it's, it's brilliant um, great set of lads clubs first class behind the scenes obviously I've known Lou and Chan for a long long time and 
we work well together. Um, so it's just about us three finding the right formulas to, to deal with whatever challenge comes up going forward and that's what we'll love to do.